everyone and welcome to this week's session. My name's Sophie and I'm from Swanbank Church. So who knows what special day it is today? You can pause the video and have a think about what you think today is. Very good. So today is Palm Sunday and I'm sure some of you will have heard of Palm Sunday before but if not we're going to be learning all about this today in the next few clips. So today's theme we are going to be looking at welcoming Jesus. So Jesus was on a journey. He was heading from a place near Galilee and he was heading towards Jerusalem on a donkey and Jesus was coming to give us a really important message and we're going to be learning a bit more about that later on in the video but next we have Amy who is going to be telling us the story. Good morning everybody, I hope you're all okay. My name is Amy and I'm from Swanbank Methodist Church. Um, this morning it is Palm Sunday and if you can't remember what that is, it is the day Jesus entered Jerusalem on a donkey and all the crowds put down palm leaves and their coats on the dusty floor uh, so that Jesus had a really nice entrance for when he came into Jerusalem. To help explain that story a little bit better for you, I've found a really good video uh, that will explain it to you and yeah, I hope you enjoy it. The story of Easter, the triumphal entry. This is Jesus, hey who is the Son of God and the Savior of the world. While Jesus was on earth, he taught everyone about God's love and healed people from their sickness. He did many miracles like calming storms and even raised people from the dead. At this time, the Jewish people were celebrating a festival called Passover that had been celebrated since the time of Moses when God brought his people out of Egypt. So Jesus was going to Jerusalem to celebrate. Jesus and his disciples stopped in the town. You're coming? And Jesus told two of his disciples to go on ahead of them. Eh, okay. He told them to go into a village and that they would see a young donkey that no one had ever ridden. Rock! He told them to untie it and bring it to him. If anyone asks, what are you doing? He told them to just say, the Lord needs it and will return it soon. Okay, go ahead. So the disciples did what Jesus said and brought him the donkey. A long time ago, before Jesus was even born, God had said that the Savior, the King of Israel, would come to Israel in this way. And now Jesus was doing just as God had said. The news that Jesus was coming to Jerusalem swept through the city. Many heard about all the amazing things he had done, so they cut palm branches and ran to see him. Huh? The Pharisees and religious rulers realized that there was nothing they could do, for everyone was going to see Jesus. Jesus rode into the city of Jerusalem and the crowd spread their coats on the road ahead of him. His followers began to shout and sing as they walked along, praising God for all the wonderful miracles they had seen. The Pharisees were upset. Hey, Jesus! and they told Jesus to stop the people from saying things like that. But Jesus said, if they keep quiet, the stones along the road would burst into tears. So the people kept on singing, blessings on the king who comes in the name of the Lord. Praise God in highest heaven. The entire city of Jerusalem was in an uproar as he entered, asking, who is this? And the crowds replied, it's Jesus. And Jesus rode the donkey through the street of Jerusalem to the temple in a triumphal entry, just as God said he would many years before. Hello everyone, it's Kath here from Potter's and I've been asked to do the craft for today. And it's Palm Sunday. And I was thinking about the story of Jesus going into Jerusalem. And if you remember, he went in on a donkey. And all the people pulled the palm leaves down, didn't they? And they put them on the road. And they were all shouting, Hosanna! Hosanna! 
So our picture today shows that we've got a donkey and we've got palm leaves and then I've written, I've painted here, Hosanna. Well you could write that or you could paint it, that's up to you. Now today you might need a grown up with you because this is where it gets a little bit interesting because the donkey is made up of a foot and the palm leaves are made up out of palms. Do you get that? It's a bit of a joke there, palms, palms. But there it is. So what we're going to need to do first is we're going to need some grey paint. Now to make grey, I've got a little bit here already, you need some white and you need a little bit of black, not too much black, paint. And then we mix the two colours together. I'm sure some of you will know how to make grey anyway, won't you? And if you notice, I've put some paper down so that I don't get the paint everywhere. And now I need a foot. Now for this, I borrowed someone. This is my daughter Iona and I've borrowed her foot. But I will tell you, she's a little bit ticklish. So if you get your grown up <laughs> to paint <laughs> your foot, it feels like I'm torturing her a little bit here, but I'll be as quick <laughs> as I can. I hope you're not as ticklish as Iona is. So we've painted her foot grey and that's going to make the donkey's face. You ready? Oh, on the paper. Okay, Iona, you remove your pet, your foot. Now you're gonna to need to clean your foot, Iona. Now, Iona's foot, she's got quite a high instep, so you might need to do this little bit here, like that. Can you see? So it looks like a donkey's face, doesn't it now? Now, if you've got your gray paint, you could paint some ears on, can you see? They're like rabbit ears, aren't they? There we go. And that is the donkey finished. Now then, we're going to need the palms, aren't we? So I'm going to go back to my owner. She's got smaller hands than me. And I've got my green paint. You might need a, a new brush for this. I'm trying to be quick so I can show you, but you can take your time. And painting her hand green. Oh yeah, that's not quite as tickly as your foot, is it, Iona? There, mm -hmm. that's okay. That's 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 bearable, is it? That's not quite yeah. as tickly. Now, what I want you to do is to put some palms down the bottom, like the palm leaves. Oh, there we go. And brilliant. There we go. Can you see everybody? And it's getting to look more like our picture, isn't it? And what you're going to need to do now is you're probably going to need to let it dry a little bit. And when it's a little bit dry, you can add the details. Now here I've got some black paint and I'm going to draw, oops, my black and green are all muddled up. So here, that's going to be the mane, can you see? In between the toes, I'm making a mane for the donkey. Can you see? There we go. And when it's dry, what I could add, if you look back at my original picture, I'm going to need to put in an eye. And you can put some white paint on the, the nose to make it look more like a donkey. And then when it's really dry, you add the mouth and a nose and you can add the detail. And then all you need to do is write or paint with some red paint the word Hosanna. And then you'll have a finished picture. And that'll help to remind you all about when Jesus went in on a donkey into Jerusalem. And everybody was shouting, Hosanna! Hosanna! And I hope you've had fun doing that craft today. And I hope that you've remembered to clean up after yourselves and you haven't got paint all over the carpet. All right then, bye for now. Bye!
Hi everybody, now we're going to play a game slash do an activity. So I got thinking about the Bible verse that we've been looking at and thinking about ways that we could do something fun to try and remember one really, really important sentence from that. So on these pieces of paper, I have got written, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. So I have all these different bits of paper and what I'm going to do is I'm going to shuffle them so they're in a mixed up random order. Now I've just written them on pieces of paper, you don't need to print anything out for this. I'm going to shuffle them up and I'm going to see how quickly I can unshuffle all of them into a straight line on the floor and then read out the sentence that it says. So it's a little bit like when everybody's putting down their palm leaves for Jesus, we're creating a little bit of a path with the words on our cards and we're going to see if we could unscramble them really quickly. So I'm going to attempt to unscramble all of my things. So I'm a little bit confused already. Let me see. Okay. First word, blessed. And then I need the next bit, which is, uh, is he who? That's it. I've got that one. Um, is he who comes? That's the next one. Let me see. Um, in the name of the Lord. Okay, so let's do that all together. So we've got blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. I wonder if you guys can be quicker at me at unscrambling all of your letters. Maybe make it into a little bit of a race. Can't wait to hear how you get on. So thank you for watching. Make sure you send in lots of pictures of all of your crafts that you've been doing because we love to see what you've been up to. Um, I'm just going to pray to close off this session. So if you want to cut your hands together and eyes closed, not because you have to, just because sometimes it helps us to concentrate. Okay. Dear God, thank you that you are the Messiah and the King. We thank you that you came to save us because you love us so much. I pray that we all have a great week and remember your love for us. Amen. Bye.